Hello my YouTube friends, it's Margaret again and I'm just in the kitchen. I've just pulled this lovely loaf out of the bread maker and uh, I just thought, oh this is nice, I'm going to make a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down. And no. Why? Because if I just pan you around, bear with me a minute. I was watching a couple of videos recently on people's uh, cymbidiums and as you know I've got several cymbidiums and um, I have noticed that they were starting to look a little bit worse for wear and I really didn't take any notice of them because sometimes the leaves um, I've, um, I've got distorted and burnt like this because they're outside and they're in the hallway um, with no humidity at all, uh, there's no airflow, they just sit there and of course the sun at the moment has started to come through the window and of course it's baking these cymbidiums. And what's happened? I don't know whether or not um, that's any better there. Let me just see because I'm going to be in my own light now. Probably no good at all, let's take that magnifying glass away. You see all those little tiny speckles and they're all, let me just see if I can find you a leaf that uh, you can see quite easily. They're all there. So what I did, I, uh, I make up this solution here. Fairy liquid, oil, baby oil, Listerine. You can use um, isopropyl uh, um, alcohol if you want, but I've just got these in. Uh, and if you look in the ingredients, this Listerine is not much different. And I just make up a solution. It's just, I just put in what I think. And um, I've got the uh, cotton, these, the Q-tips, and I've got the cotton wool buds. And just look at that. Now that is a classic sign of spider mite. So let me just um, let me. So now the afternoon is going to be spent cleaning all these leaves and getting down deep in those crevices there. I wondered why all of a sudden the orchids had gone this colour, and I couldn't understand it. But blow me down. I understand now and if I don't act on this you see there's new growth there if I don't on, if I don't act on this now well I shall just have I shall be I'll be in a complete mess now let me just see if this leaf if I can just bring this up here like here and see whether or not See, that's not too bad, is it? So, this one here might not be too infected. Let's just take it the other way on that leaf. Because the leaf has the upside as well as the downside. You see, now that's not too bad, is it? So, I shall lightly go over this one. Because it was stood next to the other one. I think that's just dirt. I don't think that is actual spider mite. So I'm going to get another piece of cotton wool now and well I can use the same one actually. Not that one, I've just used the other plant with it. You've got to be so careful, you, you know, you don't need to, you, you've got to be careful, you don't want to cross infect your plants. So let's take this one here See this one at the back here. Let's just go up through that leaf there. Yeah, there are there are telltale signs of spider mite there. Let's go down this one here. The spider mite. They're nearly as bad as scale. 
Yeah. Let's just have a look in here. Ooh, look at that. Goodness gracious, this one. This is definitely, this is definitely infected with spider mite. Oh, goodness gracious, look at that. And uh, so, let's just give that a suitable but a rub there. There's nothing on that. So what I'm going to do now is a painstaking job of checking this orchid. Let's just go down here. Let's just go down there with this. See, some of them it might just show signs of being dirt. Because they do go outside, these orchids do. Um, but I think this one is quite infected with spider mite. And that's because I have them in the hallway. Um, there's no there's no moving air. I mean, as soon as I'm able to, uh, these can go outside because uh, they don't mind the cold. But uh, just those few weeks in the hallway, and um, let's have a look. It is um, the spider mite. I've got a hold. Yeah, this that's red right on there. I have no idea where spider mite comes from. It drives me crack as all these bugs do, you know. They, but, oh, I can't tell you. It's a wonder people don't give up at the first hurdle. See, telltale signs. Red rust comes away in your hand. before you know where you are. See all those signs. So be ever vigilant folks. There goes my uh, Sunday afternoon. Just bear with me a minute. I just need to dry my hands and uh, never mind. I'm gonna, I've got the tea, I've got the kettle on to make a cup of tea. So I shall make a cup of tea and uh, I shall just stand here now and go through every leaf, make sure uh, not only are, are these cymbidiums going to be okay, but the other ones in the hallway. Um, so, from me to you, take care, and we'll speak again soon. Bye now.